I'm Amanda. I'm Matt. And we're the co-founders of Beneath the Surface Foundation. We teach combat veterans yoga and ocean therapy to help them overcome post-traumatic stress. With all the uncertainty and unpredictability of day-to-day -day life during the COVID-19 pandemic, we wanted to offer daily wellness practices that get you moving your body, breathing, and incorporating some healthy practices that boost your immunity, support your mental health, and encourage physical well-being. So take five minutes out of your day and follow along. Start a daily journaling practice. Write five things that you are grateful for. Benefits include keeping you present with where you are and what you have, supporting positivity and optimism, and creating a mindset of gratitude. Take 10 minutes out of your morning to develop this new habit and get bonus points for doing it at night before you go to bed. Notice the shift in your perspective each day after you finish journaling. Today's flow is a sun salutation B with some additional strength postures. We're also gonna incorporate twists. Benefits of twists include internal ringing out sensation, a lengthening and toning of the spine, improved digestion, a compression of the rib cage, which teaches proper breathing dynamics, and overall strength and flexibility. Go ahead and come to the top of your mat. Bring your big toes to touch, slight space in between the heels. Keep your hands at your sides, close your eyes, take a deep breath in through the nose, Open your mouth and exhale it out. As you inhale, drop your hips and raise your arms. Find yourself in chair pose. Stay for the exhale, maybe deep in just a little bit. See if you can soften the shoulder blades and allow them to drop away from your ears. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, make your way to forward fold. We're gonna stay in forward fold for a few breaths. So if your version doesn't look like this, go ahead and bend your knees, Allow your torso to rest comfortably on your quadriceps. Ensure that your head and neck are relaxed and spacious. Stay for one more inhale and begin to straighten your legs as you exhale, finding your edge of the posture. As you inhale, find a halfway lift, long flat back, reaching through the spinal column. And as you exhale, plant your hands and step one foot back at a time to find yourself in high plank or at the top of a push up. Draw your core in tightly and feel power rise up through your posterior chain. For an advanced version, see if you can come up just onto your big toes. Stay for an inhale as you shift your shoulders forward. And as you exhale, lower halfway down to Chaturanga with the elbows hugging into the sides. Press the tops of your feet into the mat, then inhale upward facing dog as you open through the chest. Push the floor away with strong quadriceps. Stay for another inhale. And as you exhale, with control, make your way to downward facing dog. Flip one foot over at a time, finding some length, pushing the floor away with the shoulders and finding balance between hand and foot. On an inhale, reach your right leg back and up behind you. Try to keep your hips square and not opening and just using the power of the glute to find some length and reach. Reach through that right heel as you push the floor away. Take one more breath in for length or a preparatory pose. And as you exhale, draw the knee into your chest as you come forward into high plank. Compress and really push the floor away. Exhale all of your air. As you inhale, extend that leg back up behind you once more, really opening and expanding, creating as much length as possible. And as you exhale, let's bring the foot between the hands, just like we did the other day. Drop that left knee, find yourself in low lunge or an Anjaneyasana preparatory. Uncurl your left foot. Now, sink the hips forward and down as you bring the hands to the top of the right leg. Allow some softness to take place as you let gravity pull the inner hips down. With an inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, finding expansion and a full expression of Anjaneyasana. Continuing to scissor the legs towards each other by pulling on the right heel and the top of the left foot. Next inhale, bring your hands to the floor, framing the right foot, curl the left toes and straighten that left leg. Make sure that your right knee is in line over the right ankle. If it's not, make an adjustment that you need to. Really extend vigorously through that left foot. Now with an inhale, raise your torso up and find crescent lunge. Square hips, chest and shoulders in the same direction reaching forward. The right knee is bent towards 90 degrees as you extend through that left leg. 
Stay for one more breath in. As you exhale, go ahead and frame the right foot, but keep the left leg straight and lifted. Keep the left hand on the instep of the right foot, and then as you inhale, peel your right arm up and open to the sky, finding a low twist. Stay for a deep breath in. Exhale, back to framing that foot. As you inhale, raise it back up, crescent lunge. As you exhale, sink deep into that right leg. Now to twist, peel the right arm back as you extend the left arm forward, twisting through the torso while maintaining the same integrity of the legs, revolved crescent lunge. Stay for one inhale, and as you exhale, frame the right foot. Step the right foot back, find yourself high plank or the top of a push-up. Inhale, shift the shoulders forward. Exhale, lower to chaturanga, elbows hugging the sides. Inhale, upward facing dog as the tops of the feet press into the mat. And as you exhale, back to downward facing dog. Stay for a round of breath. On your next inhale, reach your left leg back and up behind you. Creating length, reaching through that left glute. Find some expansion as you push the floor away with your shoulders and reach the left heel back up in space. Take an inhale to prepare. And as you exhale, let's draw the left knee into the chest as you come forward into high plank. Compress as you exhale all of your air out. Inhale and extend the left leg back up behind you once more, finding some length and expansion. And as you exhale, bring the left foot between the hands, dropping the right knee, setting up for low lunge or anjaneyasana. Pause for a moment and allow the hips to soften, really finding space in the inner groin. With an inhale, bring the hands to the top of the left knee. You can find a little bit more traction by pulling the left leg forward and extending through the femur as you sink that right hip flexor down. On an inhale, extend the arms overhead to find a full expression of Anjaneyasana. Sinking deep into it, the gaze can be soft forward or eyes can be reaching upward. Stay for an inhale. As you exhale, go ahead and release the arms to the floor, framing the left foot, straightening the right leg, extending through, setting up for crescent lunge on this side. If the left knee is not over the ankle, make any modifications you need to do so. With an inhale, reach the torso forward and up, coming up into an upright positioning with the chest and shoulders in the same orientation, sinking deep into that left knee. Stay for an inhale. As you exhale, frame the left foot with the hands once more, keeping length in the right leg. Keep the right hand planted on the instep of the left foot, and as you inhale, peel your left arm up and open for a low twist. Finding expansion, allowing the chest to open as the right heel reaches back. Deep breath in. As you exhale, framing the left foot once more. Create strength and structure in the legs, and as you inhale, take it back up to crescent lunge using the strength of the legs and torso. Deep breath in to prepare. As you exhale, reach the left arm back and the right arm forward as you twist your torso to the left. Finding expansion through the right heel and through both arms, find opening in the twist. Deep breath in. As you exhale, release the arms to the mat and step the left foot back. Inhale, shift the shoulders forward. As you exhale, find Chaturanga once more. Tops of the feet press into the mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, walk slowly to the top of the mat. Pause in forward fold. Find some space and length. On your next inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, release, forward fold. In one flowing breath, inhale back to chair pose. Stay for the exhale as you deepen. Inhale, stay in chair pose. Exhale, come to standing with your hands at your heart.